is that uh, the trend since about 2010, 2011 has been that content marketing has been on the rise and a lot of people are uh, thinking about it and trying to sort of use content for their marketing. So one of the first things I'll say, this led to like one of the first lessons, which is content is marketing. If you go look around you and you go look at any of the advertisements you have, blog posts you have, or anything you're doing, in whether it's in your business and other people's business, most of it requires words, right? And you have to go kind of put, put them out there uh, and then kind of see what the feedback is uh, and see how people react to it. And content and marketing kind of go together as a result of that. So the way I like to explain it is that uh, the art of marketing is all about creating better content. And the science of marketing is all about measuring performance. So content and, and art, meaning like these are the words you use, how you influence people, a, a lot of the empathy and emotional side of things, that's art. A lot of the science and, and how you measure it, how you realize and figure out whether it's effective and make it better, uh, that's the science. So, you know, late last year there was a, or early last year there was a whole, um, this marketing landscape thing and uh, the amount of companies that are in your sort of uh, periphery or, or that you're able to use as a marketer is ridiculous, uh, even if you're doing marketing in a startup. And so I wanted to give some tips on like how to analyze a lot of the data you see in the tools. So this is from Google Analytics. And what I would recommend in Google Analytics, if you're looking in there and trying to find opportunities for improving your marketing, um, I would find pages with high traffic and a high bounce rate. Because that means that those pages are getting a lot of traffic, but a lot of people are bouncing. And if those bounces are a lot higher, so more people are bouncing than other pages, then you might want to do something like this. This is all about like how do you find opportunities using these tools. Um, unbounce, you can do the same thing. You find landing pages that have high traffic and low conversion rates, and then you go try to run A-B tests and optimize them. With your channels in general, you want to find channels that have essentially high traffic and low conversion rate. Because those are your opportunities